Hey, this is Maria Brink. This is Chris Allworth. From In This Moment. And you are watching and listening to Linnea Rock. Yeah. Welcome to Milan. Welcome to Linear Rock. Um, how are you today? Everything's okay? We're very happy and it's our first time to Italy and Milan so we're very excited to be here. Fantastic. Okay, so Maria, uh, your voice and your image have a strong impact and have an important role in the success of In This Moment. Uh, how much this comes from your influences, uh, how much instinct there's behind it and how much you know, that's part of like a big plan. I think that, I mean, the core of everything always has to be the music we always see, right? So like you start with the music. So if somebody's laying in the dark and they can't see what we look like at all, you still want that music to make them feel something and make them, you know, have that connection. But then we like to, on top of that, give people something visually just as stimulating as if you're just listening to the music. So we really like to express ourselves artistically with all of the visuals and the theatrical sides. Yeah. So, I mean, it all kind of plays a really important part to us. And there's been so many people that inspired us from Kiss to Madonna to, you know, the whole the whole spectrum from one side to the other. And I think for her too, part of, part of it comes from her influences, but a lot of it is also within her, this image and stuff that she comes up with. Okay. Um, you started as Dying Star. Uh, how was that band concept different than in this moment and who's guilty of the idea of mixing metalcore and hard rock? Well, I think Dying Star was kind of like, kind of more like in this moment is now, honestly. But at the time, it just whatever reason, nothing clicked. Maybe we weren't fully on the right page with each other and with what we wanted to do. And then, I don't know how it, the metalcore thing came up. Give me an ultimatum. You told me you would be in the band with me if I did that exact I said music. that. <laughs> I said we needed to heavy it up. We needed to try something a little more extreme. Okay. And you know, hey, that was the start of something beautiful here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm responsible. All right. So it's already ten years. You're on the road, um, but since one year, you are approaching the big market through the major label deal with Atlantic Records. How have your life and approach changed since the signing of that deal? I think our, our approach and our lives are similar, you know, we, we didn't really change anything and we're still growing. We saw a lot of change with people showing up and people liking the band and the band growing with our last album Blood and now Black Widow is an extension of that. Okay. And we're looking forward to things changing even more with Atlantic, but we still have the same passion and drive and, and artistic integrity that we always had. Yeah. And nothing's changed really. You dig very much to play with contrasts, uh, clean voice and screamo, beautiful tragedy, uh, bloody creature poster girl, dark and light. Is that a kind of late motive, uh, the key of your success? Um, no, I mean, I think there's so many different factors that really come into creating success, but I think that naturally that's just a really big struggle in my life is balancing out the rage and the pain and the yeah. suffering with the, with the soft side of me and the forgiving side of me and the loving side. And so it's just this kind of internal struggle I can't get away from that we always seem to fall into. And it comes out <laughs> on the lyrics and the, the art and everything. Yeah, do. and I also do like to, and you know, I, I can relate with the hell and I can okay. relate with the pain. And I do like to show the, the light in the darkness right. too for all those fans that are really struggling in that darkness and still showing them that there is a, a light and a balance to okay. it all. Okay, so you're very hungry but still you survive and there's always optimism. Exactly, behind. exactly. Okay. And, and being in hell happens for a reason. And, okay. And you make yourself stronger from it. Okay. Um, is Black Widow the best way to describe yourself, Maria, and the band, or maybe Natural Born Sinner fits better? Um, actually, Natural Born Sinner was an alternative okay. name that I was thinking of for the album. <laughs> really cover. That's true, yeah. All right. So um, I think that uh, Black Widow, you know, it was a concept we came up with, and, and Chris kind of went with it. And it's about everything that we were just talking about. It's about an innocence that becomes corrupted and kind of becomes numb and has to teach themselves how to be strong and commanding and 
and and almost dark, and then kind of the, the power within the whole thing, and then about the, you know, so it's another big metaphorical story that I could tell forever. We don't got time for it. Oh, okay, it's empowering though. You hold your head high. Yeah, and she is the Black Widow right now. That, that's that's the betrayal. And what about whore or sex metal Barbie? You like to be very provocative. That's a fact. Well, the, the real beauty in those songs is if you just look at the name, it sounds provocative. Okay. But if you look at the meaning, like especially of whore, women honoring one another, rising eternally, it's about taking something dark and degrading and turning it into something powerful. and telling people you can't hold me down and Sex Metal Barbie is the, is the same concept. We wrote the lyrics to that song by Googling all of the mean things that everybody said about me and us. So everybody making fun of us and we used all of their words and turned them into our lyrics. Okay. So it's actually other people making fun of us and us taking their hate, turning it into one of my yeah. favorite songs that we've it's done. Like Flipping it around. So you're flipping on people's heat and then pushing it back out or using it as something powerful. All right. Yeah. So last question. Okay. Um, do you feel like a sex symbol since you've been voted among you know the hottest chicks in art and heavy metal? Uh, and also I know you are friend with Christina I of La, La Puna Coil, which you know we're very proud of, of course. Oh so gosh. do you feel a sex symbol and in a sense part? Of like a scene, you know, of the hottest chicks in the world. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. When I think of myself, I don't think I'm one of the hottest chicks in the world. <laughs> you know, I have all kinds of insecurities. Uh, Christina is just so classy and beautiful. I absolutely love her. I'll just throw that in there. But um, and she's always been inspiring as well. The way she holds herself, it's very classy. But at the same time, she is sexy and beautiful. So. I don't think it's about, like even in our stage performance, it's vulnerable at certain times, it's sad, it's raging, it's not just about being a sex symbol or being sexy to appease everybody, like, oh, do you like that, daddy? I'm not about that. Like, okay. I'm about, I do something because I'm comfortable and I'm empowered in it, but it's mine and nobody else's. Nobody can touch it, nobody can have it. And, and it has to have also, you know, it can't just be about being sexy. Okay. It has to have all the emotions right. involved. I think on the album and on the live show, you know, because you do all sex, you lose all of the other beautiful things that should be a part of it, right? Yeah. And she can't help it if she's just naturally sexy anyways, and neither can Christina, you know, and people are gonna say that no matter what they do or say, and so it just is what it is. But it's awesome because they're beautiful women and people love them. Yeah, you know? and makes it easier for you. For it just, it's just, a, it's like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> if I had a really cool you know, guitar, just an added thing that makes it all right. more. And just being sexy will get you nowhere. Yeah, you gotta have right. You could be the sexiest woman in the world, but if you can't sing, if you're not an artist, you can't create a show, you can't have power in front of a crowd, you're gonna crash and burn. So if you just try and rely on that, you're not gonna get very far. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks guys very Thank much you. for your time. See you next time.